Hi friends, in this video I am going to talk about a startup called Bloomscape. It was launched in 2018. So Bloomscape, what exactly they do? It's an online platform where people can search and buy plants. So the plants will be delivered directly from the greenhouse to their homes. So it's not only about plants, but plants related accessories as well. So in this application, the steps are pretty simple. I can choose the plant that I want, then I can choose the color. And then once the color is chosen, I can add to cart and then start paying the money. And later point of time, it will be delivered to my home. So the steps are pretty simple. The one thing which I really liked about this product is it looks really cool. The presents, the plants. So the way they prepared this catalog, the gallery is really nice and it looks cool. Now let's see the list of technologies that have been used to build this application. So I go to the careers page and see, I can see they're using React Native, Next.js and Node.js. I worked on Node.js plus the React, but I don't know how it's been deployed because I don't see any cloud information. So looks like they're using Node and React. So let's see the design for Bloomscape now. So this is my opinion just for practice I'm trying to design and sharing my thought process. If you have any different opinion or different design, please post your comments in the comment section so that we can all learn. So Bloomscape is an e-commerce website. I believe it will be designed as a scalable product. So that's why I'm using a lot of microservices, for example, to display the plans. I can use one catalog service, which is going to prepare the plan details, which is going to pull the data from the database and it's going to present the plan details to the user whenever they search for. And once the user choose the plan, he can add to the cart and then order them and pay for the plans using the payment service. So very pretty simple design for this bloomscape that i've done why microservices because the bloomscape might grow and it has to be scalable and and each microservices can be independently developed and deployed for me it was a good learning about bloomscape application hope this small information is helpful all the best for your career please subscribe to interview.channel thank you